Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model. Today I'll be doing a review on a JC Wings China Airlines Boeing 747-400 in their current livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model. I pre-ordered and purchased this model from Troy's Toys, whose store is based out of Overland Park, Kansas, here in the United States of America, and its website address is www.troystoysinc.com. First, allow me to share some information about the history of China Airlines and how they came into existence and still operating strongly after almost 60 years, which is awesome. China Airlines was founded on December 16, 1959 by a retired Air Force officer and initially began concentrating on charter flights by using a fleet of two PBY Catalina amphibians as the airline was able to establish its first scheduled routes and officially commenced operations in October 1962. With the airline's first inaugural flight was from Taipei to Hu Alien City, Taiwan. China Airlines is the national flag carrier airline, as well as the largest operating airline in the PRC, the People's Republic of China slash Taiwan, and the global headquarters of China Airlines is located at Cal Park, which is located alongside the airline's main hub and base of operations, as located on the grounds of Taiwan Taiwan International Airport which is located approximately 25 miles west of Taipei in the Daewon District section of Taiwan City, Taiwan. And the airline's other primary hubs are located at Kaohsiung International Airport located in Kaohsiung City, Taiwan and Taipei Songshan Airport located in the Songshan District section of Taipei, Taiwan. And the focus city of China Airlines is located at Hong Kong International Airport located in Hong Kong. As of March 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, China Airlines flies to 115 destinations worldwide across Asia, Europe, North America, and Oceania with the operating fleet of 86 aircraft that includes 22 Boeing 747s, in which four of those are the Boeing 747-400s, and the remaining 18 are the Boeing 747-400F freighters, and in addition to the 22 Boeing 747s that currently operates in China Airlines fleet, the airline has no unfulfilled orders pending on this aircraft type at the time of this video review posting. And also at the time of this video review posting, China Airlines currently operates as a certified four-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax Magazine and the Boeing customer code for China Airlines for this particular aircraft is 09. Okay, now let's take a look at the front of the box you see here. Starting at the top, you see the aircraft type. You see the China Airlines titles on both uh, both aircraft models. You see the uh, the airline's logo. The first aircraft, which is the hug and touch livery right here, which is the top one. Uh, I passed on that one. I really didn't need that one, but to each his own. If that's your thing, go ahead and go for it. But this is the one I was waiting on here, okay? I actually ordered the one in in-flight, but it was sold out. But I'm glad JC Wings followed through with this one. That's the one I'm going to do a review on. As well as you see the 1200 scale die cast aircraft model information at the lower part of the box. Now looking at the back of the box, nothing much back there except the warning information what you see there, okay? Now looking at the top of the box where you see the aircraft type, the airline's logo, the China Airlines billboard titles, the 1200 scale die cast aircraft model, and you see that one that's checked right there. That's the one in the regular livery scheme. That's the one I'm going to do a review on. Okay. All right. Now you're looking at the bottom of the box where you see the aircraft type, the airline's logo, the China Airlines title, as well as the hug and touch uh, information right there. Okay. That's one I pass up on. I might go back and get that. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a moment. Now you're looking at this nice looking wooden model stand that came with the model. And then you see the plaque right there. You see the China Airlines title along with the airline's logo, the Boeing 747-400 information, as well as the scale 1200 information on this customized plaque. And then you come up here. You see that black pad in there? The purpose of that black pad in there, folks, is to prevent your model from being damaged or scratched when you put your uh, model on this particular stand, which is cool. All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what's inside this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into details for the purpose of these gear replacements on this particular model, okay? Okay, with all that information out of the way about the history of China Airlines, 
all the details here on this box you also see the airlines logo in the background there as well the model stand as well as the uh, gear replaced inside this plastic bag with no further ado everyone here is the model check it out there it is everyone the JC Wings China Airlines Boeing 747-400 in their current livery scheme in a 1-200 scale model now let me give you some share you some information about this nice looking livery here on this aircraft this is the current livery scheme of China Airlines, which is actually called the Plum Blossom Livery Scheme, which was introduced in 1995 along with the airline's new logo, which is also called the Plum Blossom logo, which replaced the airline's previous livery scheme, which featured the country's national flag that appeared on the tail fin, as well as the red and white and blue national colors on the fuselage of its aircraft due to commercial and political reasons to avoid international controversy from the Chinese government. All right. And after China Airlines became a member of the Sky Team Alliance on September 28, 2011, the carrier also made alteration to the airline's logo as part of refreshing the brand image and a new title font for the company named China Airlines was also remodified as a new approach was taken for the appearance of the Plum Blossom trademark, which has been the airline's signature trademark livery book ever since 1995. So. With all that information out of the way about this livery here, let's get down to the nitty gritty and let me show you all the details on this aircraft. Shall we? Let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the aircraft here on the uh, port side. We're gonna start at the nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear landing lights right there, the nose gear door featuring the uh, registration ship number on there, the Peter tubes, the static ports, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers. I'll give you a better visual view of those later on. But you see the Sky Team decal right here by the cockpit window. China Airlines joined the Sky Team Alliance on September 28, 2011, which consists of 20 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Delta, Aerial Mexico, Air France, and Korean Air as the four founding members. And then you see the registration ship number, which is displayed on the nose gear as well as right here by the L1 door, as well as the rear of the aircraft. There, registration ship number B-18251. Registration ship number B-18251. This was the seventh Boeing 747-400 jumbo jet line to enter the China Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on May 16, 1995, and was first delivered to Mandarin Airlines on June 14, 1995. Then was eventually transferred to, China, to the China Airlines fleet sometime in June 2000. This aircraft, however, was eventually withdrawn from the China Airlines fleet on November 30, 2014, and was ferried to Southern California Logistics Airport, an aircraft boneyard storage facility in Victorville, California, on December 10, 2014 where this aircraft is currently stored up at at the time of this video review posting. Now you're looking at the China Airlines title right there between the uh, upper deck and the main deck right there. And that little logo there, I have no idea what that is. Somebody can uh, pinpoint me that information. I would truly appreciate it because I do got a couple more China Airlines models to do, okay? Now you're looking at the edge of the wings here where you see the inboard landing lights right here. Uh, the jewels makes it looking more detailed and realistic, which I find impressive. Now we're still on the port side of this aircraft where you see these nice big massive engines right here. These are the Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines that were used on this particular China Airlines Boeing 747-400 jumbo jet line. You also see the engine cones right here, very detailed and realistic there now I'm gonna turn this uh, aircraft model around let you see the front of the engines and the turbo fan blades do spin check it out now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port side no engine strikes but the turbo fan blades do spin we're gonna start at the inner engines right here perfect as well as the outer engine and then you slide over this way folks got a better visual view of the uh, inboard landing lights as well as the landing gears here on the port side the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the starboard side and the turbo fan blade spin as well start with the inner engine here as well as the outer engine perfect 
and then you slide over this way you see the inboard landing light right there on the edge of the wing as well as the landing bogey gears here the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors there on the port side now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the uh, cockpit windows the windshield wipers the nose cone the nose gear doors the nose gear landing lights right here which looks very realistic and detailed as well as the landing gears so I'm going to take that back to the port side because there's more information to share with you over there as well. Let's roll. Now we're still on the port side of this aircraft where you're looking at the nice little winglet here. It's been in the multi cars right there featuring the red uh, navigation light. If you know, these winglets are actually six feet tall. All right. Anybody been on 747, see them up close, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. Now you got a better visual view of the landing gears here on the port side, the landing gear struts. You also see the uh, center bogey gear here as well, the, the bogey gear struts as well as the bogey gear doors. Now we're at the back of the aircraft here by the, uh, the L5 door right there. Um, there's a registration ship number that I mentioned earlier, but more important you see that Boeing 747-400 decal. Okay, China Airlines acquired its first Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliner that bears the registration ship number B-161 on February 8, 1990 and took delivery of its last Boeing 747-400 passenger jumbo jetliner that bears the registration ship number B-18215 on April 26, 2005 as China Airlines at one time registered and operated as many as 18 of these iconic jetliners in their fleet. And now, as of March 2018, or at the time of this video review posting, there are only four Boeing 747-400 that actually remains operating in their fleet, as those are used solely for cross-strait and regional flight purposes, while the remaining 14 Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliners that were delivered prior to 2004 are either stored up at the aircraft boneyard storage facility at Victorville Airport in Victorville, California, and have been sold altogether. However, China Airlines does continue to operate the Boeing 747-400, mostly in the cargo version. Now, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side, and let's talk about the China Airlines logo that's displayed here on this tail fin of this aircraft. The China Airlines logo, as you can see displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft, is actually called a plum blossom flower. And this flower actually symbolizes from the distinctive type of the Asian tree species that grows on both the plum and the apricot trees. This flower is also considered the national flower of the country of the Republic of China slash Taiwan and has been the airline's signature trademark logo since it was introduced in 1995 as this logo can be seen on just about every China Airlines aircraft tail flying today. Now looking at the APU exhaust hole right here which is detailed and there's a hole there there folks. If you didn't know what APU stands for, it stands for auxiliary power unit. And then uh, uh, below that uh, APU exhaust hole, there is the strobe light right there, as well as the entire rear aircraft view of this aircraft. Check it out. There it is, folks. The China Airlines Boeing 747-400 in their current livery scheme from the tail, from the rear view angle. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the nose gears, the nose gear landing lights, the nose gear door featuring the registration ship number B18251, see the pewter tubes, the stag ports, the nose cone, the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers, the sky team uh, decal right there next to the cockpit windows, the registration ship number, the front cargo container loading door right here as well as the China Airlines title and that little specialized logo right there as well. You also see the inboard landing light right there. Now you're looking at the, these Pratt & Whitney PW4056 engines here on the starboard side featuring the engine cones right there. Now you're looking at the multicolored uh, winglet here on the starboard side featuring the green navigation light next to that winglet. Now you look at the back of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the rear cargo container loading door right here, the AFT bulk bin door which is displayed right there, 
the Boeing 747-400 decal, the registration ship number B-18251, as well as the Plum Blossom logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. Check it out. There it is, the Plum Blossom logo displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft. Ain't it beautiful? All right. Before I show you the, the aerial bird's eye view, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft in full detail, let me let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Wow, this one rolls pretty good. Not bad, you know. Some 747, the gear rolls, some of them don't. But it is what it is. But at least one, this one rolls, which is pretty impressive. It tilts. And the nose cone swivels as well, as you can see there, there, there. Okay? So, with that being said, Allow me to show you the area of bird's eye view of this aircraft model. Let's check it out. Now you're looking at this aircraft model from the bird's eye view. We're going to start at the front where you see the nose cone. See the windshield wipers, the cockpit window. You see the Sky Team decal on both sides as well as the pilot escape hatch door. You see the anti-collision beacon light as well as the high frequency antenna here on this distinctive hump. You come down this way. You see the ADF antennas in 3D. You see the Wi-Fi box antenna right there, another high frequency antenna, the tail, and the horizontal stabilizers. Now you see that little, the two little dots right there on the edge of the horizontal stabilizer as well as over here. Those are the illuminator lights that light up this tail here when it flies during nighttime. Now let's check out the wings, folks. No wing walkway, but you got the uh, engines right there. In the aerial bird's eye view as well as the flaps, slaps, aileron spoilers, the fuel dump valve as well as the winglet. Now let's check this side out. No wing walkway but you got the engines as well as the flaps, slaps, aileron spoilers, what have you. The fuel dump valve as well as the winglet on this side of the aircraft as well. Now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft and these multi codes right here. You see the nose cone, the closed nose gear door, as well as the nose gear, the open nose gear door, the nose gear, the little antenna there. See the anti-collision beacon light right there, the hole where the stand goes in at, the center bogey gears when you right there. Okay, they tilt perfect, all right. See the antennas there, the pressure relief valve, as well as the APU housing doors underneath, as well as the horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears here. Uh, tilt a little bit, so it's all good. You see the uh, flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you. You see the engines there, the registration ship number, the fuel dump valve, as well as the winglet. Now let's check out this side over here. Gears over here. A little challenge tilting, but it's all good. You got the engines there, as well as the flat, slats, aileron spoilers, what have you. The fuel dump valve, as well as the winglet here on this side of the aircraft. Now, since I showed you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model, in full detail, aircraft model in full detail, sorry about that. Now I'm going to put it on that nice little wooden stand that came with the model. So with no further ado, here is the model on the stand. Check it out. Okay, finally got this model displayed uh, on the model stand with no problem. As you see in this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand on the port side. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft and a takeoff landing position with all the gears and stuff intact. How the wings is flexing a little bit with the model on the stand. Now you see this model being displayed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand on the, port, on the starboard side. Now you're looking at this model being displayed from the tail cam angle. Okay, before I take this model off the stand, I got in this position for a reason, and the reason is, is the gears I'm going to take off. He's starting with the, the nose gear here first. There. Gears here on the port side. There. As well as the gears here on the starboard side. There. And um, I got to take this uh, model, this stand here to get the other gears off. 
they magnetic as well there and there okay all right so since I got all the uh, gears off this model I'm gonna let you see this model displayed at a different angle without the gears check it out okay I got all the gears off here and now you're seeing this model being displayed in in flight position you got one or two options from this point on how you want to display your model option number one if you want to continue to display it like that that's fine you see these gear replacement doors in this uh, plastic bag that I showed you earlier that's the purpose of these gear replacement doors is to substitute your gears while you display your model in flight mode or you can keep them in a the gear down position um, with them with the gears down there with the gears being displayed on the uh, actual model gears up gear down your choice I choose to leave the gears on mine because it adds more value to the model so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and put these gears back on this model take this model stand and go ahead and wrap up this model for you all right now let's talk about the seating configuration China Airlines has three seating configurated cabin versions that they use on their Boeing 747-400s however on this particular China Airlines Boeing 747-400 jumbo jetliner seated 389 passengers in a two-class configured cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone from rows one to four which will be from here to here. You, you have 18 business class seats. Rows six to eleven which is the upper deck from here to about right here. You have a, another 24 business class seats in row 17 to 20 which will be from here to here. You have 28 business class seats, which total of 70 business class seats in rows 28 to 63, which will be from here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft, which is the main deck. You have 319 economy class seats, which brings a total of 389 seats. And finally, China Airlines currently employs their Boeing 747-400s on routes from Taipei, Taiwan International Airport in Taipei, Taiwan, to inter-Asian destinations such as Guangzhou, China. Bangkok, Thailand, Neha, Japan, Sapporo, Japan, Hong Kong, and Shenzhen, China. Well, everyone, this will conclude this model review. i like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting it. I'm about to show you a little information. Waffle Collectors has a, a summer blowout sale going on right now on this particular model. Get it way, way real cheap. Snatch it up if you can. I highly recommend you to have this model. But uh, please rate and subscribe and leave your comments and suggestions. And if you got a question about this particular model or any other models you might be interested in, don't hesitate to put that information in there as well. So with that said, take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.